Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover two topics. One is basic concepts and second one is residential status. Let's see one by one. In basic concepts, first is assessment year. It is very important in basic concepts to know assessment year, previous year and assessee. So we'll starting with assessment year. Students and assessment year. Begins. On 1st April. Of every year. And. Ends on. 31st March of next year. This is assessment year. Students, from your examination point of view, current assessment year will be current assessment Current assessment year is 23-24. Remember students, this is very important. Now we are going to see previous year. See, previous year is income earned in one year. Income earned in one year is known as is known as previous year student is known as previous year and for your examination point of view previous year will be 22 23 I hope you have clear with assessment year and previous year. Now look here student. The year in which income is earned. This is the previous year question. Uh, previous year question. The year in which income is earned in which income is earned is called previous year and the next year in which income is tax. This word is important students. In which income is tax is called assessment year. This is important of assessment year and previous year. Now look students, the definition of assessee. Now what is assessee student? A person, a person is liable to pay the tax is known as assessee students. See, here we have covered three important concepts. One is assessment year, second is previous year, and third is assessee. See, if income is earned, look here, this is important. Income is earned, is called previous year, and in next year, Income is tax is called assessment year. And what is assessee? A person is liable to pay the tax is known as assessee student. Let us solve 
some basic question for better understanding of the topic student see here when is a text liability computed this we have seen in the previous slide when the tax liability is computed we are going to pay the tax in current assess assessment year so answer is assessment year now look question number second income earned during what period is taxed income earned we have covered in the previous slide see income is earned is called previous year so the answer will be previous year see what is charge to tax this is the subject of direct tax so what is charge to tax students income what is charge to tax income income is going to charge to tax and last question who is liable to pay the tax who is going to liable to pay the tax that is assessee now come to the residential status topic see in residential status we are having two one is resident and second one is non resident for becoming a resident it is necessary to solve basic condition the number one basic condition is he is in india during the previous year for a period of 182 days or more or second condition a part he is in india during the previous year for a period of 60 days or more and he is in india for 365 days or more during the four immediately preceding the previous year look here students basic condition there are two basic condition is given first basic condition is he is in india during the previous year what will be the previous year from your examination point of view students previous year will be 22 23 so the person is in india during 22 23 or a of 182 days or more for becoming a resident this is condition number 1 students if anyone is not satisfying first condition so we are going to see second condition and in second condition there are two points first one is a he is in india during the previous year for a period of 60 days or more so previous year again the previous year will be 22 23 for a period of 60 days or more it means that the person will be for 60 days in the previous year this is a part and second he is in india for 365 days or more during four immediately preceding the previous previous year preceding the previous year means previous year ko chhod ke pichle 4 saal so four immediately preceding the previous year that is starting from 1st april 2018 to 31st march 22 students this is four immediately preceding the previous year these two dates are very important from your examination point of view this is the basic condition for becoming a resident if anyone is not satisfying this basic condition so the person will be treated as non resident student see here important point in case of the following individual second condition mentioned above will not be applicable means only we are going to see first condition for this two type of person let's see one by one the first one is a person of indian origin who visit india this is first category and the second second category is an indian citizen who lives india for employment purpose for this two following individuals we are going to see only first condition for becoming a resident this is the basic condition student if anyone is satisfying this condition so he will be treated as resident once he will be treated as resident then we are going to see additional condition look here students for becoming an ordinary resident 
an individual must have satisfied both of the following condition. See, there are two part. One is resident, and second one is non-resident. In resident, there are three. One is R O R, and second one is R N O R. If any resident is satisfying this both the condition. so he will be treated as ror if the person is satisfying only one condition out of these two so he will be treated as ror nor now look here student what is the condition the condition is he has been in, in he has been a resident in india at least 2 out of 10 years at least 2 out of 10 years immediately preceding the previous year so apart from 20 to 23 he is going to satisfy 2 out of 10 years and the for resident there will be 182 days and he has been in india for a period of 730 days or more during the 7 years he has been in india for a period of 730 days or more during the 7 years immediately preceding the previous year if anyone is satisfying this both the condition so he will be treated as resident and ordinary resident students here we have completed the basic conditions now we are going to apply this basic conditions in sum this is the previous year question students very important sum see mr preter is a uk citizen he came to india on 1st january 23 for a visit and was in india till 31st march 23 means he came to india on 1st january and till 31st march he will be in india see in pre in earlier previous year the details of his stay in india as follows so what will be the previous year students previous year will be 22 23 please remember for our examination point of view and apart from the apart from the 22 23 means preceding the previous year is given here 21 22 starting from the 20, uh, 15 16 15 16 to 21 22 is data is given in the question and number of days stay in india is also given 100 1 115 in this year like this the data is given students now look here how we are going to solve the question so first you need to make a standard format for this type of question look here and one more information is given find out his residential statement status for the assessment year you know student assessment year is 23 24 assuming that he is not a person of indian origin this is very important information student he is not the indian origin means we are going to check two basic condition first one is also and second one is also if he is not satisfying the first condition here we will write working notes this is the standard format for the student uh, for the answer see the name mr peter previous year is 22 23 status is given individual and assessment year is 23 24 this you need to write for every question now see here i have written basic conditions there are two basic conditions number 1 stay in india during the previous year 22 23 more than 182 days second condition stay in india during preceding four previous year and along with this one more condition stay in india during the previous year 60 days and we here we are going to write the conclusion look here students now we'll see working notes see assessment year is going to previous year is going to start or assessment year is going to start from april april may june july august september october november december jan feb and march in the question it is given that mr peter came to india on 1st january 23 means he is there in india for 31 days in january then for a visit and was in india till 31st march so he will be there in feb also so 28 days for feb month and 31st 31 days for march month 
if you are going to add this, then we'll get 90 days. So in the previous year, means in the previous year 22, 23, he is there for 90 days. Let's see in the question how we are going to solve. See, stay in India. Here we are going to do calculation part. See, stay in India during the previous year 22, 23, 182 days. So see, he is in India. Here I am writing from 1422 to 31st 3 this is previous year student how many days he is there in india he is there in india 31 days in jan month right and 28 days in feb month and 31 days in march month if you are going to add this then we will get 90 days now you are going to answer me students here it 90 days and we want how many days? We want 182 days. It means here he, Mr. Peter is not satisfied first condition. If he is not going to satisfy, then we are going to see second condition. What is the second condition student? Stay in India during the preceding four previous year, 365 days. The same, four preceding previous year. So here in the question, Four preceding previous year means 21, 22 to 18, 19. We have done this in the earlier slide. So we are going to add this 199 days plus 92 days. Then 24 and 185. This we are going to add. See the same student, the same students, the same statement you are going to copy here. He is in India. And the days are how many? And the days are how many students? He is in India from 1-4-2018 to 31st 322. How many days? Look here. 199, 92. See, 199, 92, 24, and 185. This is the four preceding previous year. 185 students. If you are going to add this then we'll get 500 days how many days we want students we want only 365 days and mr peter is for 500 days it means it is satisfied now we'll see second part this is along with a part stay in india during preceding previous year 60 days he was in India for 90 students. See, the same statement. This same statement you are going to write here. Here. See, I am writing again. He is in India from 1422 to 31st 3, 23. This is your previous year student for 90 days. It means he is satisfying second condition. So what is our conclusion student? Mr. Peter is a resident as per students condition 2. As per condition 2. I hope you have understood this. This is a part of basic. Now we are going to see additional conditions. In additional condition, there are only two. First one is resident in India in two out of 10 immediately preceding previous year. Means 182 days. If you are going to see this data, this data is given for the seven years. If you are going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven years. If you are going to see this data, so 182, he is there more than 182 days in 180 uh, in 1718 199 in 1819 and 185 in 2122 so in seven preceding previous year he is there more than two times so see here i am writing the calculation part he is resident for more than two years for more than 
टू इयर्स लाइक स्टे फॉर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू चेक इयर स्टे फॉर वन एटी फाइव डेज इन ट्वेंटी वन एटी फाइव डेज इन सेवनटीन एटीन इन एटीन नाइनटीन वन नाइनटी डेज एंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू वन एटी फाइव डेज इट मीन्स इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग इट मीन्स वॉट स्टूडेंट इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग so we are going to write satisfied year now look stay in india stay in india during 7 years immediately the preceding previous year 730 days now look in the question this this we want 730 and if you are going to add this then we'll get student 900 days means more than 730 days so he is satisfying this conditions also so we are going to write here he was in india he was in india for 900 days students how many days 900 900 days see in the four preceding previous year in the four preceding previous year were, were 500 and the data given here is whatever the amount is 100 One hundred and fifteen, one eighty-five, one ninety-nine, ninety-two, twenty-four, and one eighty-five is ninety days. So he is satisfying nine hundred days from yes, nine hundred days. So here we are going to write the satisfied. Here we'll write satisfied students. So what will be the conclusion, students? Mr. Peter, Mr. Peter is a resident. Mr. Peter is a resident and an ordinary resident student because he is satisfied both the condition, both the additional condition. Yes. Here we have completed these some students. Thank you. and bye to all